everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel CrackZat, turning problems into solutions. This is me Priyasha Das and today we will be taking a second part or the second concept video on time, speed and distance. Today in this video we will be covering a question of meeting where two trains are meeting starting from two different points. These kind of questions are very commonly asked in all the kind of examinations we have in which TSD is a part of the syllabus. And let's read the question and try to understand what they are asking from it then instead of going from the lengthier approach that is using simultaneous equations or framing some uh, equations and getting it solved no we won't be doing this we would be getting it through an easy concept based formula based approach formula based doesn't mean any new formula other than time into speed is equal to distance. So let's see. The question reads, a train A starts from station P at 4 p.m. and reaches the station R at 5 p.m. So the information about the train A is given regarding its starting time and ending time. And another train B's starting time is same as A's starting time, that is 4 p.m. and reaches the opposite station P at 5.30 p.m. Now we have to find out their meeting time, the time at which they first meet with each other. Four options are given. Now I'll tell you what happens with the majority of the audience watching this video right now. Whenever we see this question, the first thing which comes to our mind is what is the first approach? What should we start working with? Which data should we use so that we get our answers correct and faster? So let me tell you this approach. The approach is try to figure out what is given to you in the question. In this question, they have clearly mentioned the time. So since they have given us the time in this question, we would be using the time to proceed in this question. Now we will be comparing the ratio of time taken by train A is to train B. We know that the time which is taken by train A is one hour that is 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. and the time taken by train B is one and a half hour that is 4 to 5 30 p.m. Now since this is in decimals so I would try to convert this value into a whole number and this can be further written as the ratio of 2 is to 3. So now we know that the time is in divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Now if I diagrammatically represent you, then this is station P, this is station R. And when I'm talking about train A, train A starts at 4 p.m. and reaches the uh, station R at 5 p.m. And if I consider the other train, that is the train B, then in that case, train B is starting over here at 4 p.m. and reaching station P at 5.30 p.m. Now, we know that the entire time is divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3 and it is very clearly mentioned that the distance between the two stations will be constant. So, what our job will be is to divide this entire distance into 5 equal parts. The reason for taking 5 is 2 plus 3 is 5. So, I would be dividing it into 5 equal parts. This would really help me to proceed with the question. Now, I would be telling you how we can use the ratio of time, which is 2 is to 3 for the train A and B, knowing that the distance is constant, we can say that the speed will be in the inverse ratio of 3 is to 2, because distance is constant and the time is 2 is to 3, so the inverse ratio of speed will be 3 is to 2. Now, something over here which you need to understand and memorize both at the same time. Point number one is that whenever we are talking about meeting position or meeting time, it is first important for us to make the distance constant which we have already done and found out the ratio of the speed. The next step is to make the time constant. So over here, I would try to make the time constant and if I keep the time constant then the speed ratio which is with me right now 3 is to 2 will become the distance ratio of 3 is to 2 only. That means 
the point at which a and b trains are meeting will actually be three steps from point a or uh, station p rather we should say and two steps from station r this will help us to understand that the distance will be in the same ratio as the speed that is 3 is to 2 and in case the question asks us where exactly are they meeting so we can use this and find out that three steps from station p is equals to two steps from station r and that would be the meeting point of the two trains but before we come to this question let's solve our real question which is finding out the time at which they are meeting so to find out the time at which they are meeting we'll again use this formula of distance is equals to 3 to 2 ratio for the train a to b and when we are considering the speed now we would be taking the speed as constant from this same equation and while taking the speed as constant i would use d is equals to 3 is to 2 so keeping the speed constant my time will also be equals to 3 is to 2 that means the time i have taken to cover the distance between p and r will be divided into the ratio of 3 is to 2 but just to remember that this 3 is to 2 is not for train A and train B separately. We would be considering just one train at a time. For finding out the time of meeting, we need to consider one train at a time. So over here, if I consider train A whose starting time was 4 p.m. and ending time was 5 p.m., so I know that the total time it has taken is 60 minutes. That is one hour. Now over here, if I try to divide 60 minutes in the ratio of 3 is to 2, then that in particular means that I'll just draw the diagram again so that it's clear for you. Here's the diagram. Here's the starting point P. Here's the ending point R. And in between, I have four divisions, which makes it equal. Now, the point which is mentioned here is 3 by 5 of the distance from the starting point is equals to the time taken to reach this meeting point. If you remember, this was our meeting point, not exactly this, but the third part. So here is this meeting point. So to reach this place, I would need actually 36 minutes out of the total journey time which is 60 minutes now this is 36 minutes and of course from the meeting point the remaining time will be 24 minutes and if you want you can check it by the same ratio 2 by 5 into 60 which gives us 24 minutes so now we can say that starting from 4 p.m the train a and train b meets at the meeting point at the time of 4 p.m. plus 36 minutes, that is equals to 4.36 p.m. So 4.36 p.m. becomes the meeting point of this question. And similarly, if they give you the speed or they give you the distance, then you can also find out what is the distance from the station P, from where they are meeting. So this remains a question for all you viewers right there. Yeah, I'll just scroll up the question so that you can have the look or uh, have a look of the original question. The original question says that a train A starts from station P at 4 p.m., reaches R at 5 p.m. and so on. You can take a screenshot and now the job which you have to do is to tell me the meeting location. So what is the distance from point P? You have to tell me what is the distance from point P and the meeting point. So you have to find out this distance point P that is the station P and the meeting point. So in case you get the answer, please write it down in the comment section. And if you did like this video, then do hit that like button, share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. So until we meet again, stay tuned with the channel. Thank you.